your life. Hi everybody, welcome. We're back with you today. Uh, this is Deja at Deja and & Company and we're back today for Ring Stacking 101. So Bria and I have been preparing for this thinking it wouldn't take long. It took hours. It turns out we have hundreds and hundreds of rings here that are stackable and we kept finding more and more and more and more. So we won't be able to get through all of them, but we want to show you as many as we can. Uh, to begin with though, I want to let you know that we are still ready to see you from the comfort and safety of your homes because we have virtual appointments. Um, I'll be able to see you on Skype, on, let's see, um, FaceTime. We can email, we can talk on the phone, and we'll be trying to have appointments Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So you can email me at Deja, D-E-J-A, -E at Deja and Co, D-E-J-A, a-N-D-C-O. <laughs> Sorry. Still. Um, and let me have an appointment, and I'd love to. And we'll send you a link to everything to have virtual appointments with us. So welcome. Um, I'm doing a little preview of layering necklaces. This here is a beautiful new bracelet that came in. It is a self-layered bracelet. It's three bracelets on one amazing clasp. See, there's the tag. <laughs> and then on my other wrist. Hi, Lindsay and Sam. Hello, welcome. And then my other wrist here, as you can see, I have two beautiful bracelets. A really pretty thin one with a gorgeous hand on bark finish with a beautiful aspen leaf. And then in a gorgeous Italian. Again, gorgeous finish with diamonds as well. So that's just a preview to videos that will be coming to you in the future. All right. But you know me, I'm probably going to be all over the board, and then she'll be on later to kind of bring it all together, organized again, and let you remember the categories. The, we have a number of them. We have the Made for Each Other category, which, let me show you, for example, these rings here, let's see if I can get them in focus for you. As you can see, there are three rings here. They are diamonds in white gold, diamonds in yellow gold, and then emeralds in diamonds. And each How is that? Can you see it? That one there, do you see how the edges are scalloped? Well, they're made, they actually fit into each other. So when you put them all on, the inner lock, the inner lock and they sit. They're really pretty because they go out just way and they're pretty. Can you see that there? It's the same shape or clover shape but it's open, so even from the back, they're absolutely gorgeous. And these are available also in, um, yes, here we go, in blue sapphire, in rubies, in pink sapphire, yellow sapphire, and so all of them. Oh, and confession, I'm so sorry about my nails. I cannot do my own nails, so when I paint, it's a big mess. You're seeing my natural nails. <laughs> These are another one of my favorite group of made for each other bands. And Lindsay commented there, the three layer bracelet is so pretty. I haven't even gotten to see that one in person yet. <gasps> oh my gosh, well you're seeing it for the first time oh, live she was video. when it came in. <gasps> oh, you were in, came in. So it's amazing, I absolutely love it. All right, show you a stack of color. I love color, as you all know. So this is a stack of, okay, let's see if I can get that into the light better for you. Is that a little better? We have, starting at the base of my finger, blue zircon, then pink sapphire. There we go. Pull it back a little bit. Emerald. 
And there we go, is that better? Blue. These are gorgeous bands. If you will notice, between the stones, uh, there are diamonds, but the diamonds are small and they're vertically stacked at what we would call a north-south angle. So they also come in a myriad of other colors. So you can get your birthstones, your children's birthstones, just all the stones you love, or all the colors you love. They're gorgeous. There's also a diamond one, which is not in diamond one to stack as well. And these also, kind of going off of the uh, list here, are really when you stack them, there we go, let's see if I can pull it back for you. Is that good? When you stack them with narrow diamond bands on either side, which we always have um, matched pairs of diamond bands, but you can even do this with unmatched pairs. That's gorgeous as well. Because you can stack these bands around everything and anything. So remember the quatrefoils that we just looked at a moment before, or clovers. They can also be stacked really, really, really pretty with, can you get there? Mm -hmm with the bands on either side. I love bands, with scalloped bands, because I think it really shows the design off. And that's a gorgeous way to do it too. Again, I'm skipping around, because Bria is gonna do it really nice and organized and pretty, and it's gonna be even better. So you can look forward to seeing her. But we have a, I love flowers, a lot of you know that, and I think that every woman should have at least one flower ring. So this here, I've got too many rings on my fingers. There's no such thing, so I'll just find another finger. <laughs> um, this here, let me turn it so you can see it, is a really pretty ring of flowers. We call this flora, and it's flowers and leaves, beautiful. And I've got on either end a matched pair of white gold diamond stackers with the rose gold in the center. And for those of you who couldn't keep your eyes off of my diamond stackers on my middle finger there, <laughs> these are gorgeous. This is a stack of amazing, amazing, let's see if I can, I'm trying to get them in focus. They're too sparkly. It's very difficult. Um, jewelry is so highly brilliant that it's hard to get the camera to focus on it. But the center one there is all oval diamonds going east-west around the finger. And then on the side, we have an oval and alternating with round. Oh, and it is oval and round on the center too. I also have an all oval one that I didn't have on. Um, so these are all alternating different shapes. Let's see here. No, not any better, huh? We may just have to come in when we're open again to see it in person because it's very, very sparkly. And any of these look great on their own. And I'm just going to take the middle ring for a moment and put another pair of our match stackers on either side to show you how that looks. So now we have a showing of white gold in the center. Mm. Slightly out of focus, but it's real sparkly. <laughs> it's really sparkly, yeah. It's hard to focus. Is that any better? More of an angle, so it's on your shadow. Nope, <laughs> and then it gets too sparkly. Yeah. Oh, maybe there. Maybe there. But that's a gorgeous way to do it. And then we have both stackers in all diamonds, stackers with every kind of natural colored um, gemstone. We have them all, they're gorgeous. We even have rare ones. These are Paraiba tourmaline from the, um, originally from the Paraiba mine in Brazil. Uh, these actually do have some original mine here, but they are all 
also now found in Africa, still not very many because the original mine went extinct very quickly. Um, they're a, a copper and manganese bearing tourmaline, the rarest of all tourmaline. And you can see it's a really pretty, pretty color and they're very, very bright. So you can stack those with all diamonds as well. All right, what did I do that I wasn't supposed to where I skipped ahead? Let's see, I'm looking at our little cheat sheet here. Um, we also have a number of diamond stackers that are made for each other. And I'm going to show you a set right now that are really pretty. They are... Lissa's watching. Lissa, I miss you, sweetheart. I love you. Hi. And Happy also, you're joining us. Really quick, I want to say that um, people can make requests if you have specific oh, yeah. colors or things that you want to see stacked up together. Like, oh, I have a sapphire band. What can I stack with it? Or, mm -hmm. you know, I have a rose gold band. Just let us know what, what you want to see stacked. We have, like Deja said, hundreds of options. We have hundreds of options. And one of my favorite is to have you bring in your rings and let's see how they can stack and, you know, what brings them up and makes them modern and cool and really pretty. I've had people bring in, I like when people like <laughs> and sometimes they just bring in a really simple plain band which we'll show you how to stack that as well um, and then it's super fun because then we can find other things to stack with it or find rings you have and figure out how to stack them it's super fun all right so this one here let's see how is that no maybe that do you see how there are baguette shaped diamonds which are the rectangular ones going east-west around the band, and then round brilliance in between. And that pattern, that pattern there just repeats itself. And it's really pretty. And these stack beautifully with bands that are different as well. Oh, we're up to nine viewers. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Yes. Something here on my hand that I was hoping you were noticing. This is when you stack rings, not straight. And I don't just mean scalloped, but they've got, um, let's see here. I'm not getting any better at this. Can you see that? Can you see that? So the bands on either end are chevron shaped. So they curve out. And then the band in the middle, or the ring, I should say, is another clover or quatrefoil ring in rubies. And it's so, so pretty. Try it this way with my hand. Is that more? There you go. Ooh, That's a little better. Is that a little better? Pull it back. Can you guys <laughs> see that? Yes. There you go. Now we've got the verbal instruction since Bria can't move my hand around in the right place. <laughs> and thus, because she did such a good job of that, I never learned. <laughs> <laughs> but these are really, really pretty, and I wanted to show you that two of them here, or one of them, I should say, has a little mate, and we have this. We sold the white gold, but we will get it again, so let me show them to you first. So this here, maybe it needs the background of my finger, huh? This one here. They're matched. They're little chevrons. Can you see it there? There. See? And then if you put something in the center, it's really, really pretty. And there are a number of things you can put in the center. From something really big to something more just so pretty and petite. This is one of my favorite rings that we have as well. Bria loves this ring and I do too. So much so we can put it in here. Is it? It's not what you said, but um, uh, so this one here, and they do go together. My fingers are little, so they don't stay put. Um, and they do stack really pretty. Can you get them right? <laughs> Sorry about. I think the tags are also moving them. Um, so this one here is a beautiful flower ring with a Pariba tourmaline in the center. Maybe and it's then a lotus. two chevrons. Yeah, it's a lotus. 
It's very nice for right now because it makes you feel peaceful, really peaceful. All right, I'm going to do a couple more, and then we're going to turn it over to Bria because there's so much more here. Let me grab, where's one of our crisscross ones? I have this one, and where is the rose and yellow? I think it's gold. in the ring series. Okay, so we're going to start with kind of an already stacked ring. Ooh, let me get out already stacked rings that are timed. We could grab those too because those are great. Mm. Okay, so see that there? That there is a rose and white crisscross ring that's basically kind of already stacked. And it's really fun because there's so, so much you can do. So we'll start with our basics again. And that would be two matched bands. So I dropped everything all over the place. <laughs> so I'm not going to start with two matched bands because I don't know where they went. Here we go. I am going to. So look how much this changes when you do around it. Super, super pretty. And then you can take one of your or you can acquire another kind of bigger center stone ring. Which one shall we use? Maybe this little guy? Yeah. All right, see that? This is a little citrine ring. Let me see if I can center that more for the camera. And it basically, sorry, again, my fingers are a little sore, it moves. Um, right in there. And then that can be um, a tall ring or a flatter ring like that. So that stacks super pretty. And a ring we've had for so long that I love, it's this little cabochon cut blue sapphire with this pretty, pretty gold. And that's really pretty with it too. As well as, let me show you another pretty set here. We hear you talk loudly. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to speak more loudly. Here is a set of very unusual cabochon cut blue sapphires along with um, some diamonds that alternate with one of them and they stack really pretty too. And if that wasn't enough for you, we can go ahead and put something in the center of them. What shall we choose for the center? We have so many mm. rings. Maybe I one of the cool gold zebrians. Oh, we yeah, haven't shown pretty. those yet. Yes, I'm sure Bria's going to show you this entire stack from Zafiro. But then you could also stack a band in the center. Don't be afraid to mix your metals. Don't be afraid to mix your colors. Don't be afraid to mix the shapes of the stones. Um, so I wanted to let you know that a stack is about you. It's not about what's being shown, what's in, what's, it's about you of rings talks about who you are and what your personality is and how you feel that day and it could literally change daily which mine do and if you're go in a hurry and you want to stack your rings I've got something for you it's already stacked as it's one ring so here just put it on one time I love this ring you see it it's all self stacked and it's super comfortable because the back of it narrows down and allows you to bend your fingers really easily. So we already we have already stacked ready to go rings as well. So I'm going to show you one once. We may have shown you this before. So take a look at this ring. This is a tanzanite in the center. We also are showing pink sapphires, blue sapphires, um, green sapphire garnets. Uh, pink tourmalines as well. Okay, so you see this amazing which has the capability so far, sorry about that, there's dragonflies on the edge, of coming apart. So this is the center ring which can be worn on its own or perhaps you might want to stack it with black diamond, really pretty black diamond bands as well. We have a pretty good selection. It seems like the kind of item did stock up on them. So you can stack 
something simple like this with them. Sorry, again, my fingers are a little and they move around. Or what's really is the outer ring with the dragonflies can be worn alone. It'd be really super pretty. Or we can put a band in the center. Oh, which band do I choose? I have hundreds and hundreds of rings here. And I'm feeling confused. Which one should I choose? Hmm. How about, let's try this one here. Something, I'm going to put something really different in the center, but you know what? I'm not afraid of I think the tags aren't going to let it go anywhere. Ah, I need a ring without tags. That's difficult. Okay, so here is a plain diamond stacker, but we could do something wider if we'd like, but you get the idea. It's really, really pretty. Okay, I'm going to turn this over to Bria for a little bit. We'll come back again because there's so many more rings I want to show you. Oh wait, I can't I can't leave you yet. Okay, so check this out. See this gorgeous wide diamond band? It's super pretty. Looks great like that, right? So now I'm gonna stack bands around it. And I am going to stack two different ones. One with round brilliance on near the base of my finger, which is at the top of your screen and one with baguettes and round brilliance. So that stack's really pretty too. Okay, take it away, Bria. We have so much more to show you. Thank you, see you soon. All right, hello everyone. Um, I have so many stacks that I wanna show you. Um, first of all, shout out to Lucy. Um, we are going to be doing, I think she, Lucy was one that requested yeah. casual clothing, jewelry style or something a little bit more casual than normal today. And I'm wearing my evil eye. Some of you guys know about this. I love this necklace. It's mine that I got from here, of course. Um, and then I'm layering that with a um, really, really cool Zafiro piece that's actually like an ancient uh, finding that they had. So for casual things, I like to layer like chain necklaces like this. I've got a choker Super. on too, which is really pretty. And then I'm today I'm stacking up different gold and yellow gold and white gold bracelets that they look really cool too when they go over the sleeve, but they're mostly kind of big on me. This one is really little, so if you have a little wrist like me, this one might fit you. And then I have some of my own personal stackers on too, which I will show you. So I have um, this ring that a lot of people think it looks like a wedding set, and probably to your video it looks like it's on my left hand, but it's on my right hand. Um, so this is a green sapphire ring that um, I found the stone in, uh, and this really pretty mm -hmm. hammered thin rose gold band that for me for Christmas. So I like wearing these two together. And I have a lot of other um, rings that I stack up. Um, what I love about the stackers that I have is I mix and match them all the time. I put different ones together. So, you know, there are no rules. They don't have to be you know, flat to sit flush or a certain way. Um, I have these and a lot of people have probably seen the way that I stack these um, two usually. My moonstone and my emerald, they usually stack them like this. So they're really fun and they're completely different styles, but I think they look really cool together. So I'm gonna take off some of my rings so I can show you some of the stack here. And like I said, feel free to um, request any specific stacks or gemstones that you want to see because we have literally so many. I'm surrounded by <laughs> rings right now. So um, one of the first categories that I had made was rings that are made for each other. And um, Stacy, or sorry, Stacy, Stacy's not here. Deja showed you. Um, and if Stacy was here, she would not be on the live video. She does not enjoy <laughs> being on live videos. Um, Everyone at some point has been on one though. But um, these Zafira rings are super, super cool when you stack a bunch of them all together. So let me show you. So, of them. So some of them have diamonds on them and some of them are just plain, either black and silver or gold. And I'll space them out a little bit so you can see the different ones here. So see how some of them are just the metal and some have the stones on them too. Some have a, the cool twisted shape too, like this one here. And there are some that have the really big 
pretty colored center stones. So you can take, where's the yellow? And that one is the um, Zawadi Sapphire. Yeah, so this is um, a Zawadi Sapphire. So it's from um, the Zawadi mine. And it actually, um, it's really cool. It's a very pretty stone. Um, and the cut of it is very unique. And that is because it was made by um, a woman who is learning to cut. They're teaching uh, these ladies to cut so that they have um, a way to make a living. So it's a really cool stone, very like woman empowerment. And so I have a rose gold and yellow gold Zephyro stacker stacked on either side of that of that ring. And they sit flush underneath the way that um, Jack and Lizzie made this ring. It can sit flush because it's a little bit heightened. So that's really fun. And you could also do them on either side of some of the other Zephyro rings, like this pretty purple sapphire here. I'll do the rose gold one and the blackened one. So see how this can sit flush together like that. Are you guys able to see them okay? I know that it's not the most ideal camera to show that you're able to see the stacks. Let me know. Um, what else do we have here? There's so many. Um, I absolutely love, we have so many of these, these multicolor stackers. Well, they're one color when you have just one alone. So that's an aquamarine. And this is a, I think a pink sapphire one, but we have them in literally every color. We have them in rose, yellow, and white gold, in sapphires, rubies, in diamonds, of course. We have a rainbow sapphire one. We have, let's see, pink, purple, blue sapphire, amethyst, aquamarine. So <laughs> here's just a few of them. So these are super, super fun to stack. So a lot of them are birthstones, so you can do a birthstone stack of, you know, say as like a mother's um, ring, instead of doing one ring that has all the birthstones of your children, you can do, you know, a few different stackers and then mix and match them and you know, diamonds or other things that you already have. Or just pick your favorite colors, you know, maybe you love purple, green, and blue, which all look really, really pretty. To stack them up. Sorry, our phone is ringing, but Deja will get it. But I want to show you this really pretty one by itself that is rainbow sapphire. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of a um, gradiated color. And this is another one that would look really pretty with diamond bands stacked around it. Let me find the ones that Deja was showing you earlier. Well, here are some different ones. Okay, this one. So you could mix color with diamonds. As Deja was saying, stacking is really personal. There are no rules. You can do whatever you want. Um, I want to show you, this is one of my favorite stacks we have, and these were also made for each other. So this is this really cool, almost like martini cup shaped emerald and sapphire set. Super high carat yellow gold, 24 carat yellow gold actually, with a hammered finish. Really, really cool, and I love the way they look stacked together. I like rings that stack um, asymmetrically like this, That's hence really the nice. ones that I've shown you that are my own, but I love this set. They're super cool together. And I think they had them in other colors too. I think there might have been a ruby, but we have the sapphire and emerald as well. And these two as well are similar to that in that they're two different bezel set stones, um, blue topaz and amethyst, I believe. Black and silver with a yellow gold bezel. Yeah, it is really hard to show these well on camera. It wasn't just you, Deja. Yay! But I'm, I'm also struggling. <laughs> so yeah, please comment. Let us know that you're here. Let us know what you want to see. Oh, and I think you had done all of these. There's also, I just found, we have so many rings. Oh, a yellow one? A yellow sapphire, which is really pretty. And then this one is slightly wider. We have an emerald. Hmm. Yeah, so Deja's showing. We, we have, have so more many rings. of the multicolor <laughs> ones. Emerald, yellow sapphire. I forgot to show those ones. There's just so many. And we can get everything. And of course, the black diamonds look great with them, too. 
we also have some multicolor stacker different shapes that look really pretty when stacked up together so yes. this is pink tourmaline and peridot and they just both have really cool different shapes and, and they're available diamonds. in all different colored stones in the center yes so that's pretty. we've sold most of them <laughs> this is another cool set that um, these could be mixed and matched yeah. with some of the ones i've shown you but they're these super super cool very sleek looking mm -hmm. um bands that have baguette cut colored stones we have pink tourmaline i think um Aquaman. blue topaz this one's blue topaz yes. and um we have blue sapphire but we have them in different colors too yeah they come um, in over 10 different um colors and so it's they have just about everything and it's they're beautiful so we have different um, gemstones and then little round diamonds in between and their channel set they're super sleek and they're really fun to stack um oh i want to show you one of my favorite rings right now this is a beautiful oh, I love that one. beautiful moonstone ring it's hard to it's really pretty um blue when it's in you know moves in different angles and that would be really pretty stacked with just about anything it might be fun to do it with some of these that's Sure oh yeah that. some of these pretty mm -hmm. we have so many of these really really pretty kind of scalloped diamond bands that have a sort of marquee shape with a round shape in between mm -hmm. and here's one with all the markings so we can stack and you can feel free to stack just one but i think stacking on either side i like that kind of symmetry mm -hmm. that's really pretty mm -hmm. let's see how Oh yeah, this is really fun too. So you can also stack it when you have a center stone ring, like something really wide, and it makes a really cool look. That's pretty. And then you can still put another something band on the other side. side. Like this one we haven't shown. Yet. Oh yeah, there are twist bands too. So you can do stack it up, mix and match. There are no rules. No rules. No rules. Yay! So. <laughs> Let's see, there's something I'm like, oh, I have to show this and I don't want to forget. Oh, this one. This is a really, really cool. Oh, you have to show that. Yes. So these are interlocking bands. So you can wear them by themselves and they're really cute. It looks kind of like a little tiara. You can wear them back to back. Okay. And the ones we have right now are rose and white gold, but you can do two rose, two white, two yellow, or mix and match anything. Put that one in between them. So they're really cool too. So aside from this, you can also turn them around and they completely interlock. Do you see the way they interlock like that? And they look like this. So they look like just a really cool two-tone wider band. But that's not all. But wait, <laughs> there's more. So you can put a different ring in between them. And especially when they're facing oh, outward. Oh, that looks so pretty. It looks like just a beautiful, beautiful crown. Yeah. And the ring in the center has marquee shaped diamonds in the center going east west and then curved little um, pave set diamonds on either side. It's all in one ring, so it looks like a stack, and then you could stack it yeah, more. Yeah, this ring is super, super pretty. And one more man, I'll give you this oh, one yeah. to put between them because this is this ring already looks like a crown. It's so pretty. So this ring is gorgeous and it's already yeah. two tone, Italian. handmade Italian, beautiful. You have to come see this in person because this does it no details, justice. Yeah. So these two and look how cool that is. It just it looks so royal and regal. I love that. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. You could also stack it with them facing inward too so you get more of that cool negative space yes and it looks kind of like to go really wide lattice too, really wide. isn't that fun i love these so those are great i'm trying to think of my other ones that i'm like i have to show this there's so many oh so i want to show some stacks that are more unusual so it doesn't always have to be like a set of three or two symmetrical ones flanking a different one you can really get creative and mix and match like things that you wouldn't normally think to put together. So I wanted to show, I love this ruby ring. It's really gorgeous bezel set ruby ring with 
diamonds that are bezel set that graduate, and then there's diamonds on the side of those. And I think it's really cool. I was playing earlier and I stacked it up with this, another ring I love. It's this really cool like chain link looking ring. Just plain gold, no stones. We do have similar ones with diamonds though. Yes, we do. So I stacked those together and I put the matched gold ones on either side. I don't know where the other matched gold one is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I could put... You know, put one in a different color. I'll it doesn't have to be color. yellow. I'll you put a rose that one. Put the rose. So... Oh, that's pretty. Look how cool this is together. Like, they don't have to all be, you know, so symmetrical and so similar. You can just mix and match. And most people wouldn't think of putting together, like, something so, you know, I guess modern as the chain link one. Which Deja's going to tell me, that was big in the 70s. It's yes, <laughs> it's just back. All of you who know that was... <laughs> yeah, but it's coming back in a big that. way, the chains. Always big here. <laughs> so, I love those stacked together. Doing things that you wouldn't normally think to put together is really, really fun. I also want to show some of these really cool. We have these silver ones that are all different colors of sapphire that are just really pretty round bezel set stones and you can stack them up. They can be worn alone, but they look really cool stacked. It gives this like sort of bubble effect. I love these and we have every color. In silver too, they're a really great price. And I also love this, which you can stack with lots of stuff. This is another silver ring and it has this really cute little pearl charm mm -hmm. that dangles. That would be really pretty stacked with like different color gold around it. Let me see. Yeah, and sometimes I have girls come in who have had their their bands that they've had a long, long time, but they just want to add something in to make it more casual. That would be very cute. Yeah, that makes it really fun. I love this piece. I love things with movement. Um, so, oh, I also wanted to show you, I think you showed them the chevron bands a little bit, but I, did. I wanted to show oh, you a stack yeah. that I really like with the chevrons. And this is just pretty to show. So... Chevron by itself is pretty, but there are these really pretty from the same collection um, rings that have a rose cut center diamond, and the way they stack together is really gorgeous. Of course, because as Stasia was saying, if it's too big for you, the stack doesn't stay. <laughs> Size them for you so that it stays perfectly. But isn't that pretty? This is, there's some of my favorite things to stack. And then I also have this. This other rose cut center one with little diamonds around. They just look so, so pretty stacked together. They are really pretty. And what else do you have? Oh, yeah. This, one this can... one's fun. Let me see if it works. I wonder if it works the way. other way or that way. Ooh, oh, that does work. Oh, it does work. So we have this cool, like, bubble band one that has this little flourish on it that looks like, kind of just looks like a crown or tiara again. But it's inside of this one. And here, here is another one I want you to try, maybe. With that one? With that one, or I was going to put it on the top of that one. Ooh. Yeah, try it. Like either side, like this. Mm -hmm. This is another one that we could stack with that bubble band. So this is a really cool little ring by itself. It's a chevron shape, but it has a little pear-shaped stone right where the chevron is. So it you can... can be worn alone, stacked, and then you can put this one in. On the yeah, other on the side other side. side. And you can stack as many or few as you like. Two is a stack, but so is five. <laughs> yep, that's true. So, and every day you can change your stack. This is actually a really pretty stack, Deja. I love this. That is super <laughs> cool. It looks like it was all one piece made for each other. So what have I missed? Is there anything that I really wanted to show you? And then I'll come back in with some like completely and... different, like kind of big. Oh, I mentioned the... Um, little chain link looking ring and that we had them in diamonds oh, so these are so cute. three different rings yellow white and rose and they stack with anything and everything i think i've tried them with most of our rings in the store although we have so many that's hard to tell but these are super cool it's really pretty and there's one i wanted to show where is it i think it might be on this side <laughs> oh i wanted to show some of these because i absolutely love this ring so we talked about stacking oh, plain those. bands. Yes. We do have plain bands, but we also have these bands that have 
little messages engraved on them. It's going to be hard for you. Very, very deep, deep engraving, which is hard to find, and I love. Um, and what is that one? So this love. one says eternal love. This one says happiness, peace, truth, and romance in the white gold. And it actually is engraved on the inside too with the same deep engraving that says keep a secret. And then um, this is my favorite one, just personally for the message. It says treasure this moment. And I really love that because to me, it's a reminder to be mindful and present in the moment. So they stack really pretty together. Of course, they look really good. I love these. And they're nice and like thick and heavy and wide, but they would be stacked really beautiful with them. So you can stack them with color. You can stack them with diamonds. Let me show you. How does that little linky guy look with it? One of these. So yeah. let's do one of the diamond link ones. That's pretty. Do one like this. And then one of the plain diamond ones. Check that out. That's really cool. I love that. I think it really dresses up the plain mm -hmm. gold stacker. And some of you may have um, plain uh, stacker bands even from you know, a grandparent or, you know, something that got passed to you or something that I have a lot of people find them in their jewelry boxes and they don't know where they're from, plain bands. And then we stack them up and, you know, we size them for you, get them all cleaned up and then you can stack with them and it's really pretty. It's also really cool to wear like across a couple of fingers too. That's, um, I see a lot of that in magazines and stuff. It's like gold bands yeah, all across your fingers. Yeah, little horizontal stack instead yeah. of a vertical stack. And we were talking about that. I'll let you show that with the... Um, okay. This is another really pretty one that stacks mm -hmm. really well with the chevron rings. It does. Um, yeah. I'll show that really quick. Where did the chevrons <laughs> go? Oh, come? here's one. So because it, it doesn't sit up high enough for something to sit flush, but you could stack it with a chevron ring. I like that. And it's really, really pretty. And it might stack on the other side with where are they... They have some rings. I was looking for the curvy ones. I don't know if we pulled ah. those out. Oh, one of the like, yeah, um, yeah so one of the It doesn't have to go right ones. inside, but it'll be really pretty that way. Yeah, so that's pretty. You can take a twist band like that and stack it with things that normally wouldn't fit flush. Um, and the other thing that's really cool that you can do when you have something like this, and I've shown a couple examples already, is you can stack it with um, something that also has a little center stone or center cluster. It doesn't have to be straight. They can be kind of stacked on top mm -hmm. of each other. So that's a different color combo that most people wouldn't do, but it's ruby with periva tourmaline. And yeah, you can offset them so that they stack. Yes. So that so reminds me of these. Yes. And I'll show you. To do this. <laughs> so these are really cool. Different color sapphire rings we have actually. A bunch of different colors of them and they're absolutely beautiful worn alone as well no heat they're all no heat so they're just the natural stone polished um oh and my mom commented hi oh, she said hi. maybe put them a little closer to the camera it's hard to see the details yeah it is hard and it does make it blurry though she said maybe it makes it blurry we we would want to show you super close but it gets blurry when you do that so I'll show these close to you. can still kind of see the details of them, even though it's a little blurry, but I'll try and pull it back and see yeah. how close I can get it. See how, yeah, that's and This is focus. fun, but nothing's like real life when you can see them sparkle and how they look on your own skin tone and, and you can feel the energy and life from the stones. Hi, Renee. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, we we're doing this to sort of hold everyone over, but of course, these are all to see you. We much more you. prettier in person. And then I want to show you too this really pretty wide ruby band stacked with maybe a couple of like diamond stackers on the sides. Maybe, yeah. And do you want to see how that would. I don't know how this ruby would look. I've never done this. Okay. Oh, stacked gonna... with another ruby ring. We're making a brand. See, we're just doing stack. it as we go. This is how you. Find really great stacks, you just mix and match and play. Mm -hmm. And play. And then when you take out the center one, say how it looks. Because every day 
you can start with a few, but then every day you can make a different stack. And you can kind of get more as you go. Maybe you have 10 stackers on your wish list. You get three to start and then keep adding them at different occasions. You know, maybe you'll get one for yourself or you'll get one for your birthday from a loved one. So you can mm -hmm. just start and basically start your collection of stackers. It's really fun. Anything else that I want to show? Um, oh, I want to show these. Yeah, those are. And then maybe I'll give it back to Deja. There's literally so many. Like we can't can't yeah, even possibly. Yeah, we could probably do this for hours. We won't torture you. We've been we going for forty five minutes. Oh my gosh! Let's put it this way: we've probably shown you maybe a tenth of what we have. Maybe a tenth, yeah. And yeah. the other thing too is that we the combinations are absolutely unlimited. Mm -hmm. So we're just showing you the stacks that that we like. That are but coming to mind. <laughs> these flower bands are super, super cool. Love They're matte them. gold. There's yellow, yellow, and rose. And they're all different sizes. There's a really thin one, a medium one, and a super thick one. And they're like daisies or kind of big. And the middle one flowers. has all different flowers. Each oh, yeah. Different. The flowers are all different. Oh, that's super cool. I actually they're, didn't realize They're that. really pretty. So for flowers. Just if you like, you know, um, jewels and flowers. They're, they're really pretty on their own. You can water them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> and they're really pretty all together. together. And, and of just, course with different ones. Maybe just mix one of them with the black diamonds. Can we Ooh. find black diamonds? Yes. Or there? Okay, good. Because that might be pretty to mix the flowers with the black. Yeah, so it makes it a little more edgy if you're like, oh, flowers are too girly for me. Check it out. Stack up some Check flowers with black out. diamonds. And then maybe do another one. one. Maybe the wide one with the oh, okay, I love let's that. Let's do this. Or the wide with so black see, we just keep stacking, keep stacking until we find combos that we love. Oh, it's so good. Check that out. <laughs> we can even do, you know, start moving on to different fingers. It's super fun to stack. If you have not discovered the joy of stacking yet, you definitely need to come in when we reopen, <laughs> and we will show you all the different things you can do. <laughs> yeah, it could. You could be here for hours. And always Forever. bring your own if you've got any that you want to stack. Yeah, bring your own rings and we'll show you, even if you think it's not one that could stack. You never know until you try. And you have to try with rings mm -hmm. that are here in the store. So those are those two same flower. This is um, an open mounting that's made to put either a diamond or colored stone in. Yeah, it's so And great. it's a super wide, super chic band. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. And in fact, it, it kind of embraces you. It's, a, it's rather comforting. To wear. So it looks really cool with anything stacked with it. Honestly, it can be stacked with anything. It's really, really cool. <laughs> so I will let Deja back in because yes, she has I more to show. I won't take too long. I know it's been a long time. We're so happy you're you staying with us and you've joined us. Yes. I'm putting my rings back on, probably <laughs> in a different formation than when I had them on originally. And I've there's one somewhere on the trail. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm turning it back over to Deja. Um, before I do that, I want to remind you guys, um, if you have not signed up for our emails yet, we've been sending out emails to keep people updated, and we just sent one out. I will share the link to that email on Facebook so that you can take a look at it. Um, but we were talking about all the different ways you can still interact with us um, while we are during, you know, for our temporary closure for the shelter in place order. So there are still lots of things that you can do and we're planning lots of fun things still. Um, one of them being, of course, doing our live videos. So please um, look out for the link for that email and sign up for our email list if you haven't yet. Okay, I'm out for now. Bye mm -hmm. guys, it was fun showing you some of my favorite stacks. Just a few, I have so many favorites, I can't even show you all of them. <laughs> Hi again. So thanks for staying with us. I'll be quick, but I saw a couple of the things that I just had to show you. This ring has always been one of my favorites. It's by um, a designer named Eddie Sakamoto, who I adore. An incredibly nice man with a very different way of seeing jewelry. Um, and his pieces are bold. So I have grabbed this ring here. And... Where did it go? I just had it in my hand. Where did that Sephira ring go? This one? Yes. So, instead of showing you with the 
um, little diamond stackers on either side, which do look fabulous. I thought I wanted to kind of keep it bold and keep it strong. Keep it kind of, let's see, can I do this without them moving? Can you see that? Is that any different? Oh, that's good. See how pretty that is? So it's stacked there. And like I like to say, you might be starting off with really sweet little diamond stackers that I love. I love them all. But one day, let's say you're like, you know what? I want something big and bold, and I want a big piece of chunky platinum on my hand. Well, this is where you go with it. And then you take your um, rings that you already have, your stackers, and you just stack them up with it. So, see how pretty that is? And then if you would like to add, who do we have? Let's add a big diamond ring. See? See that? So you've got your big chunky piece of platinum, kind of your girl boss ring. Lucy your says hi band. everyone. And then we put this big gorgeous oval uh, JB Star on top of it. So stacking is basically everything and anything you want to wear. And like I say, I think that could change by the moment, but definitely by the day. So I just put a ruby band on top of that. And I also have a really pretty, another pretty wide ring. This one is Italian. Where's that? See it? So this one has um, a true Florentine finish in the center. We have a really pretty collection of rings from a gentleman I've known for decades. <laughs> I have been around to know people for decades now in business. And they do a true Florentine finish on the centers of their rings and all their metal. So you'll have to come and see them. And this is one of them. And this one can be worn alone or it can also stack. It can stack here, it can stack with diamonds. I'm stacking it right here. I think I showed that to you earlier. It's a really pretty little um, cabochon cut blue sapphire and faceted diamond band. And that's a simple stack. And then I just want to add it to a black diamond stacker just to give us something really different. See how pretty that is? Very, very yeah, subtle. Pretty. Very subtle. So I just wanted to let you know.